One of the things with the journey that we're on in becoming really a future-focused school district is that we've been in this spot for probably five or six years, really analyzing some of the things coming through from an economic standpoint, looking at some of the other trends in education and trying to really better define what does it look like. It's really important that we are not only focused on academic skills, however, we're also focusing on skills that, that employers need as well. Developing more of the what some people call the soft skills. Embracing collaboration, embracing critical thinking, creativity, which has been sort of lost, and approaching students and learning so that when they leave, they're more flexible and they can adjust. Students are not going to have one career in their life or even just one employer in their life. They're going to move around to lots of different jobs. And so when you think about what we're preparing them for, we're sort of preparing them for the unknown. And so in the unknown, you need to learn things on your own and to figure things out. And you also need to pursue your passion. Many of our teachers are changing the way the classroom looks, that it's no longer so teacher-centered, so to speak. They need to feel like they have some sort of control over where the class goes. It, it can't feel top-down. The teacher is more of a guide, somebody who sort of sets up the systems of work and steps back. You have to be in charge of your learning. It's mostly like what the students want to do for the project and how they are going to be creative when producing it. You can learn so much just from talking to other people, having to communicate, having to be more independent, just life skills in general, and it just adds a, like a new dynamic to school and a new dynamic to learning. It's been really important for me to help students be flexible and adaptable, where when given a project no longer is there one right answer. They have to be able to look at a concept from multiple directions and really think through all of the opportunities that are available to them for communicating what they've learned to a wider audience. The more resources you have, like the technology we're getting in the school district, the easier it is to connect with students in terms of relevance and it's just another really helpful tool to get them to be critical thinkers and lifelong learners. Not every student has access to technology at home so when they they come to school they come to Celine they know that they do have access to to lots of different technologies. Technology has changed what we ask of the kids. The kids are now asking to be creators. We want them to create original thoughts and original content that capture what they know. What I didn't want to do is I didn't want to just take an assignment and have it be something that we are now producing online. I wanted to use technology in much more powerful ways in which students were using that to be more productive, more deliberate with their work, more professional, more connected. You can individualize education to every child and whether that's letting them choose the topic that they want to learn about or the pace that they can learn it or who they want to work on the project with. You're providing for their need in that way. You know, that's sort of a win-win situation. I feel like the kids are more energized. I feel like I am more energized. In some ways, I feel like I'm speaking their language and that my examples are at my fingertips. I feel like we're living the future right now. That kid that enters the classroom who feels unsure and shy and not clear on what work they need to do as a learner turns into somebody who takes charge of their own learning. Somebody who's much more confident in knowing what they need and how they want to express themselves and what they've learned. It's a really neat process to watch and seeing them develop makes me very proud of the work that we're doing here.